हरे कृष्णा लेट योर प्रैक्टिसेस मेक यू अ स्पिरिचुअल फ्रूट नॉट अ रिलीजियस नट रिलीजियस नट्स आर पीपल हु आर इन द नेम ऑफ रिलीजन नटी दे आर फनेटिकल दे आर इेशनल दे आर सेंटिमेंटल दे आर जजमेंटल एंड दे आर जस्ट डिसग्रीएबल अनप्लेजेंट टू बी विथ वेन वी प्रैक्टिस एनी थिंग वी नीड टू प्रैक्टिस इट पर्पजफुली सो दैट वी बिकम आवर स्पिरिचुअलिटी बिकम्स एक्टिवेटेड विद इन अस एंड वी बिकम अ स्पिरिचुअल फ्रूट दैट मीन्स जैसे द फ्रूट इज द कलमिनेशन ऑफ अ ट्री द थिंग दैट कैन बी मोस्ट रेलिस्ड अबाउट अ ट्री सिमिलरली we as we grow in our uh, in our inner evolution through our spiritual practices then we be- we are meant to become spiritual fruits that our consciousness becomes something which we can relish and even others can relish and thus we move forward in our lives positively M- many people say nowadays that they want to be spiritual but not religious why because they want to have that spiritual fruit they have encountered they but they have encountered too many people who are like religious nuts now the bhagavad gita is very categorical that we don't let our practice we don't practice follow our practices blindly in its conclusion it makes a very categorical declaration in 1866 it states sarva dharman parityajya maam ekam sharanam raja अहम तां सर्व पापेभ्यो मोक्षयिष्यामि मा शुचः सो कृष्ण इज सेइंग सर्व धर्मान परित्यज्य मामेकम शरणम रज सो हियर गॉड हिमसेल्फ इज टेलिंग दैट जस्ट गिव अप धर्म गिव अप द फॉर फॉर रिलीजियस फॉर्मुलरीज इफ दे आर नॉट लीडिंग टू मामेकम शरणम रज इफ दे आर नॉट लीडिंग टू लविंग सरेंडर टू द डिवाइन विल if we are staying caught in our worldly conceptions in our parochial views in our sectarian designations then we are not evolving and we need to rise above this any practice that is that doesn't evolve our consciousness not that the practice needs to be necessarily rejected but we need to revisit how we are practicing it and we need to broaden our horizons so when we become a spiritual when we become a religious nut we stay irritated and we become irritating for others we be stay irritated because we see so many people not doing what we think they should be doing not conforming to our ideas of how people should be living and we naturally we speak in ways that irritate others also but when we become a spiritual fruit we become joys for ourselves as well as joys for others so the bhagavad gita offers us such offers us such a path where the essence of our practice is not adhering to certain externals but cultivating a certain internal that is cultivating a consciousness absorbed in the all attract to supreme reality which brings us satisfaction and which makes us channels to enable others to also relish that satisfaction so let's practice our our practices purposefully to become not a religious nut but a spiritual fruit hari krishna